On April 11, 1970, Apollo 13 lifted off from Florida, destined to be the third mission to land on the moon. On board were Commander Jim Lovell, Command Module Pilot Jack Swigert, and Lunar Module Pilot Fred Hayes. Two days into the mission disaster struck, an oxygen tank exploded, Jack Swigert's calm but chilling words echoed across mission control. Houston, we have had a problem. The crew was 200,000 miles from Earth and their spacecraft was dying. With oxygen and power failing, the three astronauts abandoned the main command module and retreated into the tiny lunar module, designed for two men for just two days. It now had to keep three men alive for nearly four. Back on Earth, NASA engineers worked around the clock improvising solutions. They built a carbon dioxide filter with duct tape and spare parts, teaching the astronauts to do the same. It was ingenuity under pressure. And it worked. After looping around the moon, Apollo 13 prepared for re-entry. On April 17, 1970, the world held its breath. Then came the splashdown in the Pacific. Jim Lovell, Jack Swigert, and Fred Hayes were alive, against all odds. Apollo 13 never reached the moon but it became NASA's greatest rescue, proof that teamwork, courage, and human determination can triumph even in space. If you enjoy incredible true stories of survival and history, hit like, tap subscribe, and ring the bell so you never miss the next story.